Hello everybody, this video introduces a new feature in 40 Sandbox, which is the inline blocking. 40 Sandbox is a component of Fortinet Security Fabric. Fortinet Security Fabric platform is built on cybersecurity mesh architecture, similar to what Gardner announced. It is about automation, self-healing, self-automizing, and self-defending architecture by providing full visibility protection across the entire digital attack surface. It provides integration to reduce management complexity and threat intelligence sharing. FortiOS 7.2 expands the Fortinet security fabric to deliver consistent real-time security for hybrid deployments, extension of our convergence of security and networking vision, and effective operations via consolidation and automation. FortiOS 7.2 expands the Fortinet security fabric to deliver consistent real-time security for hybrid deployments with the industry's first ai power cloud-scale analysis augmenting inline sandbox and inline caspi service with the inline sandbox 40 gate can now stop unknown files at the firewall level by sending it to sandbox analysis and only to release a file to the user with a good verdict malware and virus will be dropped and not delivered to the user and also, the new preventions are automatically created and distributed across the Fabric ecosystem. For the demo, the user on the left attempts to download a file from a website. FortiGate sends the file to the FortiSandbox. FortiSandbox scans and provides rating back to the FortiGate. If the file is a risk, FortiGate blocks the file. If the file is not a risk, FortiGate allows the file to be downloaded by the user. When a larger file is being downloaded by the 40 Sandbox, a notification will be sent to the user's browser, letting the user know that the file is being scanned. And based on the verdict provided by the scan results of the 40 Sandbox, the user's browser will be allowed to download the file, or will get a security alert message displayed in the browser, letting the user know that the file is not permitted because of virus infection. The first demo, the user attempts to download a small executable file, which will be blocked. User click on the link to download a file. Immediately, the user gets an alert message that the file has been blocked by the FortiGate. On the 40 Sandbox, we can see the result of the scan being medium risk, the result of the scan, and the severity of the scan. Next, let's take a look at the user attempts to download a large executable file. User clicks on the link to download a file from a website. Since the file is a large executable, let's log on to 40 Sandbox to observe the scan status. Here we can see the download status on the 40 Sandbox. Back on user's browser, it gets a scan incomplete message from the 40 gate. On the 40 Sandbox, when the download completes, it shows no records found. Back to the user's browser, user attempts to download the file again, and it receives an alert message from the 40 gate, and the file is blocked from downloading. Looking back on the 40 Sandbox, we can see the result of the scan. Here, we can see the high-risk downloader, as well as the total scan time. Next, we can see the scan was performed by the Windows Cloud VM, and also how it was scanned. Finally, in the details, we can see the verdict of the scan. Moving on to 40 Gate, we can see the action 40 Gate has taken based on the verdict provided by the 40 Sandbox. For the last demo, the user attempts to download a large document file. After the user clicks on the link to download a file, the user immediately receives a notification scanning complete for the file. Let's move to the 40 Sandbox to observe the scan process. As the 40 Sandbox completes the download, no records found will be displayed. In the log file, we can see the result that it is clean file and the total scan time is around 20 seconds. And also we can see the scan was performed by Windows Cloud VM. In the Details tab, the verdict was provided by the 40 Sandbox is displayed. Let's move back to the user's browser and attempt to download the file again. And this time, the file was successfully downloaded. In the 40 gate logs, we can see the action was taken. The action is accept, therefore allowing the user to download the file. Let's transition to the inline blocking configuration, starting with 40 gate. Click on Security Fabric, Fabric Connectors, 40 Sandbox. 
Next, click on Enable under Status for 40 Sandbox Settings. Enter the IP address of this 40 Sandbox, then click Test Connectivity. As the connection status shows unreachable or not authorized, it's time for us to move on to the 40 Sandbox configuration. On the 40 Sandbox, click on Devices, click on the device name of the 40 Gate, check Authorize, and make sure this inline blocking policy is on, then click OK. Moving back to the 40 Gate, click on Test Connectivity again. The connection status should show connected. The final step is configuring the firewall policy. Click on the policy objects, firewall policy, new policy, create a name for the policy. For incoming interface, let's make sure it's the internal interface connecting to the user. Outgoing interface is the one that is connected to the internet. Destination all, schedule always, services all, Turn on proxy base for inspection mode. Turn on antivirus. Create a new profile. Provide a name. For feature sets, click on proxy based. Turn on HTTP, then turn on antivirus scan. Turn on send files to sandbox for inspection. Click OK. Then click OK again. This concludes the configuration and the demonstration of the 40 Sandbox inline blocking. Thank you for watching.